Hi everyone, this is Laura from Sweden Sins Candles and Soaps. Today I'm doing a dough bowl coconut wax candle. This is, it'll be the coconut um, apricot wax. But this time I'm gonna use the X wicks from um, Makesy, used to be wooden wick. And a lot of people have trouble, I was going to show you, these are just two of the smaller ones, but to get them together, you take the two ends that are spliced, and you kind of, it's kind of a pain actually. You have to just kind of slide it in there, and then bring it all the way down, which as you can see is like a struggle. They show you how to do this on their site too. Can you see what I'm doing? Try to bring it down, slide it all the way in like so it's like spliced in there and the, then the two little ends just kind of hook, hook together like that. And then you have, a, they have a special hook that's got, um, the base has got four places. You slide it in like you just would the regular wooden wick. This one doesn't want to go in. And then it's also got a spot for the other side. As you can see, I haven't got this in right. It is there. Kind of a pain. But they do burn a little bit wider of a swath which is why I thought I would try it in my dough bowl because it's so hard to get them to burn all the way to the sides. So this is kind of actually a mix of two. Um, this is the, the, the thinnest wick, the O1. And in here I have the largest, like I think it's like um, the 7.75 mixed with the 0.625. So we're just gonna see how this works. So um, hang on while I glue these in. Okay, we've got our wicks in there. And I've got my wax heated up. Right now it's a little bit warm. It says 230. So we're gonna let that cool down a bit because it is the coconut wax that likes to be hot, but not that hot before I add my fragrance. So we'll stir that around a bit. For this particular dough bowl, and they're all, you know, since they're handmade, they all contain, they will all hold a kind of a different amount, which makes it really hard when you're pouring a lot. But for this one, since this is my testing one, and I usually do about 15 ounces. So at 10% fragrance load, that's like 13 point, I think it was six ounces, 13.6 of the wax, and then 1.4 of the fragrance, which I am actually mixing today. It's a mixture of the Fraser fir and the citron and mandarin, which are both from Candle Science. We're gonna dump in this. And we will stir it around for a bit. Let's just pour this in. I just glued these in with my glue gun because that works best for me. Right to the edge. We'll let this cool for a little bit and then I'll come back and decorate it just because it's fun and it's for me. So back in a minute. Okay, this has been sitting here for probably close to 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna put some little decorations on this since it does have pine. Well, these are not pine needles. Actually, I'm not even sure what they are. Dianthus needles or leaves? We're just gonna set some of those in there for the green. And I have, this is some orange peel that I actually took off of an orange and let it dry. 
I'm going to sprinkle some of that on there since it does have the mandarin in it. And it smells quite orangey. So I may have to take my heat gun later on and maybe... Just had to add a little bit of sparkle. Nothing says holidays more than sparkle, so we just sprayed on a little bit. Since we were here, I thought I would demonstrate how I cut an X wick. I use the long clippers. You could probably use any kind of clippers. And I just go around each side. These are the thin ones, so they're pretty easy to cut. And I kind of pull that off. Well, kind of pull that off. Looks like I need to do that side a little better. There. And then, I just kind of try to make them as even as possible. They do want to kind of cut at a slant. And then I chop up the middle. So it is a little bit more work. But as you can see, they cut off pretty easy. You just have to go you know, around and around. That makes it a little easier. So, I thought I would show you that in case you were wondering. Clip, clip, clip. And then just try to kind of even it out. Blow off the excess. like that. Alright, thanks for watching. see it's not quite a full pull yet which is good because you don't want it to burn too fast but um, the flames are doing good they calm down and they're just kind of slowly burning and it smells great